Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Now, as you probably guessed by the title, this video is about how I dye my hair. Some of you may have noticed in my blog the other day that um, I do have a bit of green in my hair. It's kind of hard to see when my hair is damp, but it is there up the front and there's like a strip here. Now, I love dyeing my hair different colours, but for work, it's not always great. So, what I've done is I have the strip bleached already and... I basically just keep topping up the colour to make it darker when it starts to wash out. So what I'm going to do today is basically show you how I do that, or well, how I dye the hair this colour and what I use to do it. Um, I'll also show you how I, the stuff I used to bleach my hair in the first place. So yeah, stick around and I guess you'll see more. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you what exactly I use to bleach my hair first. Now I don't have the whole thing here with me, I just have the bleach, the powder stuff, so you have to buy another thing separately. Um, but the thing that I use is this. It's called Be Blonde by Jerome Russell. And basically what comes in this box is basically four little packets of powder bleach. So you basically use one sachet of this stuff with this little bottle that you get at the same time, it costs like it's a little bottle of peroxide that you mix in with the bleach and it bleaches your hair. I think this was about six euros in boots, so it's not that expensive, especially with four packs of bleach in it. And the little bottles that you get with it are about two euros, I think. So it's not that bad. I think I worked it out once that each time I bleach my hair it costs about three euros. So it's like for me, for what I want to do with it, it's fine because my hair is really short so if I burn the crap out of it, it doesn't really matter because in a few weeks it'll be grown out again. I really wouldn't recommend using it if your hair is long because I ombre my sit the ends of my sister's hair and she, she, like after a few weeks her hair, she just wants to get rid of it because the ends of her hair were so dry. Um, that would be my main thing with that, like even with this bit, even though I put more colour into it, it's still really, really dry, so that's the one thing I'm sure most of you know of when you're bleaching your hair. It does ruin it. Now, so the colour that I put into my hair, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it's called Stargazer. It's in a little bottle like that. Let's try and focus you guys. It's in a little bottle like that, and it's the colour I'm using is pitch so colour. This does not come out black. Even though it says pitch black on the thing, it doesn't. No matter what I've tried to do, no matter how light my hair was when I started, it has never come out black. Now, this kind of annoyed me at the start because I wanted to do this whole black and white half and half strip thing. Didn't work because it wasn't the right colour. But, having said that, I do love the colour that it comes out. It comes out this like really dark navy greeny blue colour. And as it washes out, it gets lighter and lighter, but like last week when I did it, it was like my hair was really awesomely turquoisey green color. But obviously can't have that for work, so I'm going to show you now how I do this. Like there's only a small section of my hair, so it doesn't take that long. I basically just, oh. Word of advice, wear gloves if you have them for this because this stuff does stain your skin a bit. Um, I basically just use a comb, slap it onto the comb and brush it through my hair to make sure it's even. Not really rocket science, but works for me so that's what I'm going to do. Now so the directions on this say to do it when your hair is to wash your hair with a shampoo that doesn't condition it because this stuff is actually kind of conditions your hair. And I would just get a big glob of it like that and start brushing it through my hair. Back to the front. That's the main trick that I found with this is to try and get it not to get it on your skin because it really annoying to get off your skin. I literally just brush it through like that. 
you want, if your hair is like naturally light and you want to kind of blend it in, you can. But mine is dark so the dye doesn't stick to my natural hair colour. So I literally just brush it through like that. I know it looks kind of funny when you're doing it, but if you want you can do it on the front bits as well, just to kind of even out the colour a bit. And have it looking not so severe. But it does, on my hair I think it pretty much only sticks to the bleached bit. So I literally just keep brushing it through until I'm happy that it's kind of mostly covered my hair. So now that's I think pretty much done. So I love how quick it is, that's one thing that I really like about this. Putting the dye in is actually really really quick. It's the whole sitting, you now have to leave it for about, well it says about 10 to 15 minutes on the bottle, but if you want it to last longer than that, you really have to be leaving it for at least half an hour, an hour if you can, just to let the dye really sink into your hair, and then wait that way it'll last longer. So I'm going to leave that there for now, and I'll be back in about half an hour, 45 minutes to rinse it out I suppose so yeah right guys so I'm back here and I'm about to wash the dye out of my hair um, I've left it on for about 45 minutes so it should last me long at this it lasts in about it'll turn to about the same colour it was in about a week just because I don't need to leave it in quite as long because there's already colour in my hair so that's the reason I'm not leaving it on for longer um, so yeah I forgot to say it earlier I'm going to put the links to the stuff that I used to bleach it and to dye it down below in the do that thingy. So yeah, have a look down there and click on it and if you have any questions, so I'll see you when all this is washed out. Bye. So guys, back, hair is done, all dry. Um, I'm going to stand in the light there and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It's much darker than it was, so it kind of blends in a bit and it's not as obvious. So yeah. That's the finished result with my hair. I'm going to put some gel in it now in a minute and I'm good to go for the day. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!